Hey everyone, my name is the Park Evangelist and right next to me is Katie. We are back at the Boone County Fair here in Burlington, Kentucky. This is our third year in a row, but our second time coming here, just the two of us, as exciting as that is. So we just got here, a little late I know, but this guy decided to take a nap before uh, coming back to the fair. And uh, Katie had to work till six o'clock. What was that? Yeah, and I just said that. So anyway, um, we are stopping and getting our free popcorn, and then we are heading over to the um, grilled corn on the cob. No, I'm good. Thank you, though. Uh, stand so we can each get our uh, fresh grilled corn on the cob. It is some of the best corn on the cob we have ever had. I don't know what's better. If it's the corn on the cob I've had from Longhorn or if it's the corn on the cob I've had from here. Either way, they put tons of flavor and seasoning into it. And I always enjoy it. So, uh, one, while we're here, we're going to make sure that we get my desk of mini donuts. I think it's from this place called Holy Donuts that we're walking right by. Even though my parents were having an argument about it. But yeah, uh, they're, they are doing a horror show here. Oh, it's three fifty dollars each now. Alright. With that being said, I'm going to turn the camera around. Alright, so... Katie is going to get our, get our uh, corn on the cob. I'll let you hold on to the change. I wanted you guys to see Katie um, putting the um, toppings on the corn. It is so good. of us one of these and uh, we saw one uh, the people in front of us holding one of this uh, they got a stand over here it's um Johnson's Country Hams and they're selling all kinds of different things but one of the things they're selling is green beans and potatoes for five dollars each good. like Katie said it sounds like it's really good and uh, I just uh, tore through my uh, grilled corn on the cob, and you know it's funny. I was uh, teasing Katie for putting, for not putting. I can't believe it's not butter on her um, corn, and then I turn around and I do it, and I guess that goes to show I like it more than her. Oh, they got a local favorite over here. 
if I zoom in the camera, they got Eddie's Barbecue, which I've actually had before, courtesy of Meyer in Florence. And they are really good. That sun is a killer. Well, we're gonna try to pop over to the um, horse show here briefly. So we can at least, you know, go and see the horses. This is the second fair I've attended this year, and no offense to TJ, but this has been better than Strawberry Festival. But, oh yeah, definitely better eats. The only thing that I like to eat at the Strawberry Festival is the Strawberry Shortcake. Our first class of the evening, class sponsored by Wolf Equine Services of Petersburg, Kentucky. They are concrete of Walton, Kentucky. We thank them for their sponsorship. Horse show um, when I was at the Kentucky Horse Our Park. Third award that lasted all day long. Anna Cartwright running Chevy Genie in a bottle of Hebron 382 is third. And our fourth award to 143, Cheryl Decker of Hotel Alley. These horse shows here at the Boom the Kenny Fair, Fairgrounds they usually last for a couple of hours, and there's multiple horses that come to these things. Thank you. So I'm trying something a little different this time. What is this exactly? <clears throat> Sorry, bad ribeye. timing. Ribeye steak sandwich. Yeah, and Katie just got the ribeye. So I topped it with uh, onions, what else? Peppers. Peppers, I want steak sauce, barbecue sauce, and mayo. Looks so good. Well, Katie and I are officially going to be starting karate together. I've never done karate in my life, and uh, Katie hasn't done it in years. Yeah, sounds about right. That was like 13 years ago. But here's the paperwork. Uh, we got a uh, three month, and it's Christian, get that. So the whole month of July, every Monday night at 8.15, from 9 to 9.15, we'll be in karate together. Twice a week. Twice a week. We can either do Thursdays or Saturdays, after Mondays. So, so the whole month of July, we'll just be meeting once a week, right? Uh, no, we have two lessons a week, so it's eight classes for the entire month of July. So what other day are we doing it? Thursdays because of the fact that Saturdays I'm working and you're working and that's during the time. So when else when we when we do it? Sounds like 7:15. 7:15. 7 7:15. 7 
So, yeah, more than likely the other day we would be doing it would be Thursdays to 7.15, which is good because I could do that. And that's not too late. Mondays will be a little late, but you know what? We'll make it work. I'll just pretty much have to go straight to bed after that. Exactly. That's a good way to look at it. I'm just like, I'm tired. I just did karate. Anyway, back to the fair. Passing by the elephant ears and deep fried Twinkies, which they of course have at, um... oh yeah, we got found that guy's donuts. What was it called again? The Holy Donuts? We, uh, we were actually over there earlier. Well, while we walk around this section, we'll go back to that later. Oh, wow. I've seen a lot of people getting lemonade from over there earlier. Don't you want to play a game? Not in the mood this time. And then, of course, we have ICs over here. That's cool. All the uh, different rides that they have going on. They have cotton candy and snow cones. The chicken on a stick has had a very long wait tonight. They got frozen lemonade over there. Yeah, there is a long line for the ices tonight. Wow, a 60 ounce taker is 20 dollars. All refills are half price. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. They actually have walkers. Quarters only. That's too funny. What? Bubble show? Look, they got a pucker powder thing. Look, a 60 inch tube is $15. Katie, when life gives you lemons. Ha, 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 ha. They've got these things all over. I don't remember them last year. They even got a phone charging station, complimentary. That's new. Here, I'll show you guys a better look. Yeah, this is the information center. See, complimentary phone charging station. And then they got the lockers. That's kind of cool. I'm glad that they have that now. Is it like really strong? Okay. Take your glasses off, though. No, take your extra glasses off. Woo! <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whenever we're ready to stop, we can just stop. I can't, I can't stop it. Here, you need help? Yeah. Over on the other side. I, I would not want that blowing on me during the winter. Well, this is definitely a lot earlier than I normally would leave. But unfortunately, I have to be up by 3 a.m. for work. And they got a roller coaster over here off to the side. That's kind of cool. Probably a little kitty coaster. <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to say. Now, watch when you're walking. You don't want to walk through. Yeah, I are. Did I step in horse poop on my way in? I don't know, let me check the feet. Oops. You're about to step in it again. Wow, I got lucky. Alright, let me check the other foot. Hold on. Nope, you're good. Whew. So, uh, the one pain about the Boone County Fairgrounds is it is $15 to get in, but on a positive note, it does include your admission, walking around, all the rides, and if it's something you're into, of course, which we're not. Well, I, okay, well, she there's is. There's one ride right, she would have ridden, but she didn't want to. She said she wasn't in the mood. Not that I would have cared if I had waited. I would have done it for her. I'm a little tired. She's still a little tired I'm from a long day. Step. Oh, great. And it includes parking, including the Watch complimentary 
uh, transportation that they offer to and from the parking lot. Watch where you're walking. And honestly, it's, you know, very nice. I've shown it before. It's a golf cart service that goes to and from the uh, parking lot to the fair. It's, you know, it's a very close walk, but still it's, you know, still nice to have. And the fair does open at 4 p.m. and I guess it closes at 11 o'clock at night. That's crazy. So, like I was just pointing out to Katie, uh, one thing I like about the Boone County Fairgrounds uh, with the parking services is you do have to walk to the end of the row to get on the complimentary golf cart service, but they at least drop you off right off at the car. Uh, the guy we had on the way back, he wasn't as nice. I could tell he was probably just a little tired. And probably hot probably hot too but the guy on the way there he was so nice he literally did whatever he could to drop us off right at the entrance like literally all we had to do is just get off and walk right up to where I drove the car through to do the uh, drive through Christmas lights if you saw my uh, Boone County Fairgrounds Christmas drive through uh, display thing anyway um, so uh, we're going to make a quick stop. Katie has to use the restroom, but she didn't want to use these nasty things, and I don't blame her. Well, that and the line was ridiculous. Yeah, it's in June this year, and I think that drove more crowds than, than usual because the kids are out of school. Yep. So, anyway, I uh, hope you guys had a great time. Uh, we're going to see you guys in the next vlog, which I believe is next Sunday night at in Frankfurt when we go to Pizza Inn. And I am still down for that. So always remember, you can do all things through Christ strengthens you. Have a great night. Peace out.